want to talk to you today about what we call at Imakina brand experiences. I mean, people are always focused on a lot of things, a lot of techy things, or creative things, or advertising things. We have a lot of buzzwords in this industry. I've been working in this industry for 17 years now, helping brands to build what we call an engaging customer experience. Because at the end of the day, we believe that what really counts is what people feel about your brand. What do they remember about your brand? And that's what we call the customer experience. When you look to those two, wor to those two worlds together, luxury on one side and digital on the other side, I mean, probably those two worlds were not meant to meet each other. On one hand, we have a slow industry selling you slow products. If you wait a lot, the product's going to cost a lot. And on the other hand, you've got an industry telling you that everything has to be fast, everything has to be real time. On one hand, you've got an industry telling you that if you want to engage with, with my brand, you've got to come to my store, which I've been working a lot on, and uh, that's the only way you have to engage to my brand. On the other hand, this digital industry is telling you you've got to be able to engage your customer on every device, at every hour, in real time. What we think is that there used to be a time where luxury brands or big brands uh, used to be the storytellers. They used to be the lights in the dark. They used to be the one who were the one telling the stories. They used to be the one you had to follow. And now, I think things have changed. You have to attract people. You have to be magnetic. You have to be able to create attention. Because this attention, the people now have the power to give you attention or not. The people are the one who choose. The people are the one who choose either to enter your shop to discover your brand or go to your website. If your website is crap, what will they remember about your brand? The first touch point they will have will probably be online and digital in our digital world, and probably be mobile. Moreover, if they are on the Chinese market or South American market. You've got to reconsider your position as a brand and to be able to attract those people around what you are doing, to tell your story, to make them feel the, 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 real, the real work you've put into your product, and communication will never be a substitution to your product. I'm a guy from communication. I come from the, a digital background, and we are now a global communication agency. But I usually say to my clients that communication is not a substitution to your product, and you've got to deeply remember that. If your product is crap, I can do the most brilliant campaign all around the world with a lot of money. Your product will be crap, and people will tell it on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, and everywhere. So this world has tremendously changed, and only telling story is not enough today. If you only tell story to your customers through your advertising budget, it's not enough. We live in a world where it's a non-fiction story now. People are connected to the real. People are um, feeling the products, listening to your stories, and listening to your attitude as a brand and they appreciate it. If you tell in your communication world that you are an open-minded brand, but you don't answer to customers on Twitter and only to influencer based on their cloud score or all the crappy things, you're not, a, you're, you're not in the conversation business. And you have to. It's not possible anymore to be, to be tricky about this, not to tell the truth. You've got to prepare yourself and I know it's hard. I've been traveling the world, working with a lot of brands, and I know that in the brands, in the luxury companies especially, it's very tough. You've got to do the bridge between the IT, the marketing, the head of uh, communication, the head of advertising, and all those people hate them and hate each other. They don't love to work together. It's really hard and it's really tough. 
But our deep feeling is that if you don't build your experience, you won't be a brand anymore. You'll be a label. You won't be a brand. Think about this. People value now the experience they have at every touch point with your brand, in your retail, in your CRM. Let me tell you a story. I love luxury brands. I love to benchmark them, and I love to buy some of them, not all of them. And with some of them, I buy them online because I know the products and I just want just another size of a product I know or just uh, another type. When I go to the retail store, where I go very often, they are able to welcome you and to welcome me by my first name. When I go to the website, they don't even know who I am. And when I receive the receipt of my order, these emails come in into my mailbox saying, no reply at blah, blah, blah dot com. Is this a customer experience? It's not. It's not. And no one would do this in a normal retail store. No one would tell you, thank you for your purchase. Please do not come again. No reply at blah, blah, blah dot com. This is not a customer experience. You have to stand for this in your companies, in your brands. You've got to fight for this. We are here as agencies to help you with this, but you've got to fight for this. I know it's a tough work. Basically, around all those buzzwords we've, we've been listening, I think that the experience is the, key, is, is, a, is a key central part of every strategy. And let me take you and, and, and go through two examples. One of them is our client. Guess who? Uh, first of all, Karl Lagerfeld. There are three points you've got to, I think, in my mind, you've got to remember when you think about considering your strategy for going into a digital world. What we call the projected experience, what you project as a picture, what you say in your communication, in the media you own and the media you control. This guy is controlling perfectly what he says, when he says it, and where he says it. That's what we call the projected experience. That's one of the three experiences. Then there is the lived experience, the true lived experience. And that's what we build for him. The true lived experience is what you leave in the stores, really. And we've built those stores, those Karl Lagerfeld stores. There's one in Paris, if you've got time to visit. There's one in Saint-Germain. These stores makes you feel the brands. We wanted those stores to be connected to the community who love the guy and who love the brand. So when you walk into the stores, you've got three experiences. What we call the Carl's book that show you all the products that are available in the stores, but also the ones who are sold out that you can option. What we call the Carl's booth, which is in the when you're trying your clothes, we've embedded into the booth an iPad in the mirror, and you can start to pull on your Facebook community and friends to say, OK, I'm going to try a new trouser. Which one fits me well? Give me a feedback live. Advise me, which is a connected experience. I'm in a retail store, a physical retail store, and I want the advice of my friends. And I want the brand to be able to understand this and to connect me to my community online. That's what we've built in the photo booth. And there's also the Carl's book, where you can talk with the brand. You can leave a world to Carl. You can leave a world, a world to his team. You can share your experience in the stores. And all the stores of Carl Lagerfeld around the world are connected to each other. So you can start a conversation with people doing shopping right now in Berlin or in other, or in other countries. That's the lived experience. And then there's a shared experience. You've got to be able to be, to be publishing while you are re in the retail. Apple are the guys who have done this first. You have free Wi-Fi in, in the stores. You are able to connect with your community. You are able to still talking 
and we give you all the, the, the materials to, to be able to be talking with your community online. That's the shared experience, because that's media that you will get as a brand, which is free. People will say good things about your brand online without paying for it. And that's very important to build a community around your brand. And those three things, the projected experience, the lived experience, and the shared experience, are the three fundamentals to be able to find your strategy in a digital world. Let me take another example. I'm OK on time? A few minutes. So I'll go fast on Burberry. Burberry has done the same. We, we usually uh, quote either Carl or Burberry as the best practice in the fashion uh, industry. Burberry has asked a question. What is the Britain way of life? And they've assumed that it's usually raining. And they've been taking this in, this, in their own communication and, and they've made an asset of it and they've assumed that. And if you go to the stores for the lived experience, if you go in London to their flagship store, there are those great moments they call store moments. So every hour or two hours, this store brings a storm into the store. So you've got the light, you've got the noise of it, and they assume those storm moments in their own store. That's connecting the second dot, which is the lift experience. And the third dot, which is trench coat, is for everyone. So we're going to take pictures of everyone, wearing our clothes, and we're going to show the, everyone that it's for everyone. It's not an exception. They've connected those three dots. This lived experience, this projected experience, and this shared experience. Let me conclude with a one minute video. This one minute has been recorded by Angela, the previous CEO of Burberry, which is now VP of the retail store at Apple. It's been recorded about two years ago, and I think that everything is in here. Just listen to it. The faster we move forward, it becomes even more critical to look back and never forget who we are and never forget where we came from and what made this brand such a great global luxury brand today. I run the company with Christopher Bailey, our chief creative officer. We had a vision, and the vision was to be the first company who was fully digital end to end. We are partnering with Salesforce to now take that vision and build this social enterprise. The experience would be that a customer would have total access to Burberry across any device, anywhere, and they would get exactly the same feeling of the brand, feeling of the culture, regardless of where, when, how they were accessing the brand. Everyone now can come into Burberry world and understand the journey and mission that Burberry is on. And to any CEO who's skeptical at all, you have to. You have to create a social enterprise today. You have to be totally connected with everyone who touches your brand. If you don't do that, I, I don't know what your business model is in five years. Everything is in there. Please, if I have one word to conclude, please stand for this. This is a world we want to live in. This is a world, as customer, we want to interact with your brands as luxury brand. We don't want you to be completely away from the digital culture. We love your brands. Please do interact with us, and we are here to help. Thank you very much.